Hey everybody, welcome back. It is me, Flattop3. Welcome back to yet another video, and today I'm going to be showing you how to install Minecraft maps on your MacBook Pro Air, whatever you're using. It has. It's not, I'm not doing Windows, I'm doing Mac um, computers. So if you have a Mac, this will be useful. If you don't have a Mac, then this video, you should just exit out of it, unless you just want to be helpful to this channel. Click that like button down below. Please subscribe, share this video if you enjoy it, and let's get right into it. To do this, you have to open up Safari and go to minecraftmaps.com. <clears throat> open that up, and then you're at this page. You can, there's like adventure, parkour, survival, puzzles, mini games, builds, commands, and more. So, yeah, you open up any one you want. I'll click um, adventure, and how about this one? Assassin of Steve, Ender Geddon, okay? This one is 1.11.2, as it says up there. Okay, 1.11.2, this map looks pretty fun. So, gonna click download. Now I have to wait for this to download. It will go up there. And you just have to wait for that to download. Um, says about 25 seconds, so whenever that's done, I'll show you guys the rest. Okay, so now it's downloaded the Assassin of Steve. You're gonna drag that over to your desktop and close that up. To make sure it's the actual map, you double-click that. Open it up and see, yes, it's not the map. The readme text is just to read it. Um, I never read it. See, thanks for downloading my map by Blazing Cave. Feel free to play it. Okay, so you're going to take, this is the actual map right here. You're going to take this and drag it over there. X it out and delete this one. It doesn't have anything on it. Wait, I didn't mean to duplicate it. And move that to the trash. Then you're going to click go up here. You're going to click option, the option key under the Z key by the control and command keys. Click Option, and that little library pops up right there. See the library under Home and above Computer? You can click Library, and then click the Application Support folder. You can double-click that, and then you got to look for Minecraft, which it's easily right here. But if this is not there, if it's on this or this, I would easily just open up that thing right there, and then click double-click Minecraft, and then there's like Mods, ASM, Server Resource Packs, Versions, you're going to double click saves, and in here, these are all my maps that I've played and downloaded. And I take Assassin of Steve in there, exit out, and open Minecraft. Okay, so that one map was 1.11.2. 1 um, if you just normally play Minecraft normally, on the latest release, it's going to be 1.12.2, and if you load the map, it will not work at all. You're going to have to make sure what the map is, like what version it is, before you play it. So to do it, you'll go to your maps or whatever, you name it. Go to the, the mode. See, these are all the releases. There's 1.0, which that's like the first ever Minecraft. But right here, there's 1.11.2. You're going to click that, or whatever the map's release date was. I did not mean to click that. I clicked the wrong thing. Okay, I'm back in here. You're going to have to click that up arrow and click the maps or whatever. Um, but it still says 1.8.2. It's because I forgot to click save, so I'm going to have to go back to 1.11.2. Click save. Go over to news. Click the up arrow and click maps or whatever you name it. You can name it whatever, but I just named mine maps or whatever because I don't know. But over here, you're going to have to wait for Minecraft to load. Okay, so now Minecraft loaded up right here in the bottom left corner. It says 1.11.2 or whatever you got. You'll click single player. And right here, there's the Assassin of Steve 3 Endergen. I'm going to click play. And I did not build this world because um, I just downloaded it, as you saw. And if it has a resource pack, the resource pack will automatically download. Um, oh, this looks pretty nice. And three. Okay, so I guess this is the map. And you can go ahead and go. See, look. Press once all players have logged in. Activate it. So I guess you can, like, activate the game. And so, yeah, this is how you install maps. If you've enjoyed, please hit that like button down below. <laughs> and turn on notifications. Um, and please subscribe to join my family. Actually, that is kind of weird. Please don't join my family, but please join my subscribers. Um, uh, if you enjoy this video, please share it with your friends and family. That probably hurt, hurt your stomach because it hurt mine. Um, so I'll see you guys in the next video. If you, um, want me to play a certain type of map and add a mod to my ModCraft series, please comment down below what map or and or mod that would be. And I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. I'll see you guys in the next video. Adiós.